And we are finishing off our Healthy, Wealthy and Wise Monday with a delicious dish. Chef Matthew Byrne from Kitchen is joining us today. Chef, always good to see you. Always a pleasure. Always oh, smells Jeff. good when you come in. Thank you get you, things thanks. going early. Thanks, Very thanks. nice. All right, so uh, what are we cooking today? It looks like today, a nice fish. Exactly. We're doing local marker swordfish mm -hmm. with uh, artichokes, clams, mushrooms, and kale. All right. It's really simple. Good. Um, local marker sword. Because the fish is over 100 pounds, that's what's considered a marker. A little more desirable, just because you give the fish a little more time in the ocean to spawn. Right. The loin tends to be a little larger, a little nicer fillet of meat. Is this uh, an expensive fish or middle of the road? I think middle of the road sort yeah. of fish. I mean, obviously, you don't want to be cheap when buying fish, right, and you want to trust the person you're buying from. Um, All right. So that's important. But uh, we love swordfish this time of year. This is co caught right up in Fort Pierce, so mm -hmm. it's local, it's great. Um, and we love it. All right. So what we do with this is we're just going to season the fish with a little bit of salt and pepper. Dredge it in a little bit of all-purpose flour. If you're gluten-free, you can skip this step. It's this right. step, it just makes the sauce a little have a little more, uh, you know, body. Okay. A little bit of virgin oil, and we'll sauté the swordfish in the oil. And after that's done, obviously we don't have enough time on TV, mm -hmm. but we'll sauté the fish. We'll flip it over. We'll add some cremini mushrooms. Cremini's are like baby portobellas. We'll add some fresh little neck clams. Again wow. from Florida, five or six. By the time you flip the fish and you steam it and you make this beautiful artichoke broth, which is made with a toasted garlic. Okay. Artichoke hearts, which are super, super good for you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the highest fiber vegetable, if not the highest, one of the All highest right, you fiber talk vegetables. Me into it, and they taste good. And they're really good, yeah, so you would nice. just deglaze the clam uh -huh. with that. Nice. You know, throw a lid on that. After a few minutes, the clam's open, the fish is cooked. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Uh, add a little kale, spinach, whatever you like. Okay. Um, and then we just have one finished over here. If, if you don't happen to like, say, swordfish. Oh, it, how it, it's not available. How it was good. Something medium body, nothing okay. too, too light All because right. you don't want it to cook too, too fast. All right. But uh, something medium body, halibut, uh, striped bass, uh, tilefish would be good for this, okay, a nice good. thick cut of tilefish. Right. So you just kind of plate it however you like. If you want to throw the swordfish in the middle of the plate, kind of put the clams around. That looks, that looks pretty. Yeah, it's really nice. Uh, kale's really good for you. Really not a lot of fat. The olive oil's the only kind of fat in here. And, I mean, it looks, you, you make everything look easy, but this looks like a relatively easy plate to make, is it? It's super simple. I think the hardest part of anything is um, just making the artichoke ragu. But again, it's really easy. Olive oil, garlic, crushed red peppers. Skip the crushed red peppers if, you're, if you don't like spice. All right. Artichoke hearts, make that ahead. You can use that for a soup. You can use it for linguine with clams. You can use it for whatever you want. It happens to go really nicely with this fish, too. Um, so it's really not that easy. Obviously, you could have your fishmonger cut the fish for you right. to the size you want. Right, right. I mean, That's with this, you, don't, you, all, you also don't need a humongous piece of fish because you have the artichokes, which have the fiber. You have the kale, which has some body, the clams, and the broth. So it's very right. filling. So four ounces of fish is probably more than enough. All right. And you um, guys are staying very busy. We are. We kitchen. are. Yeah. Uh, the grab-and-go lunch is doing really well. Good, um, good. We do catering for offices and stuff like that. That same event space, we do parties from up 20 up to 60. Um, and it's great for graduations, birthdays, celebrations, or just getting together with friends. Um, and yeah, it's special menus all the time where you do our chef's tastings, where you come in if you're a real foodie and you just want us to cook for you, tell us what you do and don't like, and we kind of make it work. Good, good and we, and we can, so can, we can drizzle this with all a little right, bit of white go. truffle oil. I didn't mean to steal it from that's you. That's okay. Just wanted to make sure we get a good shot out And that's there. a nice right. garnish. Um, so you guys stay busy during season, huh? I we mean, do. that's nonstop. Season is seven days a week. Um, yeah, so they were saying today's Monday. Today feels like Friday to me every day, <laughs> which is great. Um, and then in the summertime, we go down to five days. But yeah. right now in season, we take advantage and, you know. And I'm sorry during the tax segment, I said, hey, don't spend your money on a fancy yeah. dinner. Invest it. We're going to let that Spend one, a little bit. We're going to let that one go. You can, you can, pay, <laughs> yeah. you can pay in cash. That's pay right. your credit cards off and then come, come pay in cash. You got to treat yourself every once in a while. Absolutely. Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Always good to see you.